Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to show how to onboard Windows 11 operating system in Microsoft Defender for Endpoint. In order to onboard the, your Windows uh, operating system, you have to access the Microsoft 365 Defender by logging into security.microsoft.com and it will take you to the home page. Here you can uh, scroll all the way down to settings section and under settings you will be having option for uh, endpoints and under the endpoint section you can scroll all the way down to device management where you have option called onboarding so here in onboarding section you need to select which operating system you are going to onboard today so in my case i am having windows 11 but if you are using windows server operating system or mac os or linux server based on your operating system or model you can select the operating system the next step we have to choose the connectivity type and this connectivity type is applicable only for uh, preview uh, enabled tenant for example if you have enabled preview feature in your tenant you will see this connectivity type uh, if you don't enable the preview uh, feature in your tenant then you will not see this option so for this demo i'm going with the standard uh, connectivity type and i'm going to choose the deployment method as a local script but you have option of either you can go with the group policy or Intune or your uh, SSCM uh, to deploy the package. Then I will uh, select download onboarding package and this will download the onboarding package for Windows 11 operating system. So once I have downloaded the onboarding package, it will be reflected in my download folder. Uh, I can unzip uh, this onboarding folder. And then I, what I can do, I can go to the uh, command prompt and uh, open the command prompt in the uh, admin window. I'm going to open as run as administrator. And once it is open, we have to execute this uh, uh, onboarding package. So I'm going to copy the path where I have downloaded my onboarding script and changing my directory to the location. And here, I'm going to execute the onboarding script. So it will uh, ask you to press Y to confirm and continue. And now the onboarding process is started. So it will take uh, uh, less than a minute to complete the onboarding uh, process. And once it completes, then we can go, go back to the uh, Microsoft 365 Defender console and see whether our onboarding is successful or not by uh, looking into the onboarding status. So now you are seeing uh, the successfully onboarded machine to Microsoft Defender for Endpoint. So now it is giving an option to press any key to continue. And if I click any key and I'm, my onboarding is done. So how oh, I can make sure whether uh, the onboarding is successful from the client side. Now I, I could see the message saying successfully onboarded machine to Microsoft Defender for Endpoint, but still I need to validate. So in that case, what I can do is I can go for uh, Event Viewer. If you open the Event Viewer and there is an option uh, for uh, application log. And if you go to the application log and if you filter for the uh, event ID 20, And it will say successfully onboarded machine to Microsoft Defender for Endpoint. So this is one of the method you can validate the onboarding. So now I'm going back to my uh, Defender console. And under the assert section, I'm going to click on the devices. And I'm going to see whether my machine is get onboarded or not. So now I can see my machine here. So the machine is successfully onboarded into the Defender for Endpoint console. So now we have done with the uh, both the uh, step, step one and step two. And also we have validated the onboarding uh, status. So now we need to run some deduction test to make sure our uh, services are working as expected. So for that, I'm going back to say a setting section and an endpoint. And again, go back to the device management and onboarding section. If you scroll a little bit down, you have a, a command to run the deduction test. I'm going to copy this command. I'm going back to my uh, endpoint and uh, 
going to use my command prompt which I open in the admin mode and I'm going to execute a command which I copied from the Defender portal. So if I done this and the, the command prompt will automatically close so that gives that the, our action is successful. So now we have to give um, less than a minute uh, to see whether uh, we are getting the deduction uh, alerts in our alert queue. For that, if you go to uh, the home and incidents alert section, you will be seeing uh, uh, any new alert which is popping up here. So le let's give a minute and see whether alert is coming or not. So as expected, uh, under the alert section, now I could uh, I can see the suspicious uh, alert name here, which is uh, impacted my asset, which we, we just onboarded. And, and if you click on uh, this uh, alert, it, it will give you uh, the more granular details about what happened on this alert. So uh, we have successfully run the detection test and it was detected by the Defender for Endpoint and alerts are reported to back to the console. Thank you everyone. Thanks for watching this video.